plane. Hi, I'm Anna from Amera was ahead and on today's unique accommodation tour I'm staying at a plane. You can sit behind me and I just want to show you guys around this amazing lodge. Let's go have a look. Welcome to the first airplane hotel in South Africa, right outside of Hoodspread, less than 30 minutes away from Kruger National Park. The lodge has two planes, the main one with six rooms and the VIP one which was still under construction when I visited that will be able to accommodate three different couples on an exclusive basis. As soon as you arrive there's a check-in counter and then you drive in through the covered parking just at the back. From here the excitement starts to rise but before you go inside and check the plane and the deck there are a couple more surprises underneath. If you're looking for an area to relax or read a book in the shade, this little nook with three different hanging and lounge chairs is the perfect spot. Heading upstairs, the deck wraps around the length of the plane and can be accessed through different staircases. Let's head upstairs to the first one of those that you can see next to the check-in counter. As soon as we're up here, you'll see the breakfast area. The aviation theme is carried through perfectly throughout the lodge. With your reservation, breakfast is included in the price and it is a delicious and copious meal with fresh fruit, granola, yogurt, croissants, plus a warm breakfast a la carte. Make sure to be very hungry or ask for smaller portions. The bigger part of the deck is used as a living area and restaurant. All chairs used are the ones from the old plane, creating different tables for both restaurant visitors and guests to chill in. They are open to the public for tapas style meals and charcuterie boards which are to die for. The plane has 6 bedrooms and one small kitchenette at the back, that's where the food is served from. The cockpit is open so you can go and check it out, you can sit down and see all the buttons that a pilot generally sees and that we don't get to see often. Each bedroom has the name of a different type of cloud formation and the blue is the color that you see all over, like the sky. Each cabin has a double bed with the original plane windows and blinds and two reading lights next to the bed's headboard. Like the room is spacious given that it is a plane. To the right wall there's a vanity area with a pulled up stool, hair dryer and luggage space underneath. There's also an area to hang some of your clothes and overhead there's a storage for your luggage exactly like in planes. Next to the vanity there's a mini fridge with bottles of filtered water and your coffee and tea station. Something I really liked about the room is the power outlet has different plug types, European, South African etc and USB charging ports as well as this little transparent folder to put your phone in while it is charging. The bathroom has a small sink, the best toilet lid that I've seen and a shower with different water pressure settings. Back outside and down on one of the other sets of stairs, let's get onto the pool and guest only area. Here you have a beautiful pool with a compass made of tiles at the bottom and many lounge chairs to relax on. The room has different seating areas but first I want you to pay attention to the floor. It is an aviation map of South Africa that you can step on. It takes up the entire floor and I loved it. The blue color persists through most of the room with comfy chairs and even some plain stools to relax in. There's a coffee station here for guests with some cookies during the day and even some board games. The other side of the room has a touch of color with yellow lounge chairs and magazines from the Kruger National Park and the area that surrounds the lodge. The theme is really well implemented from the smallest of details to all the decor, it is all aviation. This is it for the tour today, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you're coming to the Kruger or surrounds, I will leave the link in the description box below so make sure to check this amazing hotel and I will see you guys in a couple of weeks with another unique accommodation tour. Bye!